Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So what we're doing today is we are testing the exposure value compensation on the Raspberry Pi camera module and we're doing it programmatically. I've written a program that will record a clip of 10 seconds for each of the exposure compensation values on the Raspberry Pi camera and then it will chop those clips into short segments and join them all together hopefully to make a film at the end. To do the filming we've got Raspberry Pi camcorder Mark II in a Syntec case with a close-up lens on the front. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about that because I'm going to do a future blog and video. And over here we've got it connected to a VGA screen using one of these adapters which you may have seen the review on my website about it. I'm still using it and I'm still impressed with it. And I'm communicating with the Pi and controlling it using my Nexus 7 tablet using ConnectBot through SSH over Wi-Fi. So what have we got in the shot? I uh, wanted some interesting different coloured things to put in the shot to make it realistic and useful. So over here we've got the new Raspberry Pi coaster which you can get from the swag shop. Over here we've got the new Toxic Pipo from Pimeroni which is a fluorescent yellow colour and I really like it. Uh, here we've just got a roll of solder, leaded of course. And, and we didn't have anything blue so I stuck a pair of pliers from one of my previous videos. On there, over here, we've got the Adafruit uh, micro SD adapter, and here we've got a red Chinese Raspberry Pi. And the newest and most recent thing I've got here is the new RS battery pack, which uh, uh, all of these items will be featuring in uh, subsequent videos. I haven't yet fully tested the RS battery pack, but early indications are that it works as well as it looks. So I'm just going to start the process off with my Nexus. Now it should record a series of video clips. That's the first one finished. And they should get progressively brighter. We'll show you the actual footage from the camera once it's been all processed. This is what's happening on the Nexus screen. Now it's recording the last one, you'll see the action on the screen will change. It's started to trim the clips into two and a half second segments. And when it's done that, it'll jam them all together. Now it's doing putting all the files from the first half into one file. Now it's finished processing all the individual files of the second half and it's adding them to the ones in the first half into a new file called evtest.mp4 and that's the file that you will be watching. And now it's finished. Now we're looking at the Pi camera output and every 2.6 seconds for the next 10 iterations you should see the brightness increase then it will go back to zero and then the brightness should decrease every 2.6 seconds and that should happen 10 times as well until the video finishes. It's getting pretty bright now I think that must be the last one. Oh yes it's just gone back to zero now it's going to start getting darker. And that's the last one. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspberry TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes, click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspberry.tv. Thank you for watching.